Hi friends, in this video we will try to understand how to verify compensation theorem practically by conducting an experiment in the laboratory. This is the circuit for which we are verifying compensation theorem. For this circuit, let us see the question. Here we need to determine the change in current through 470 ohm resistor when a 1 kilo ohm resistor is added to 100 ohms. In order to verify the compensation theorem, in the first step, we will take the circuit uh, as it is without connecting any resistor in series to 100 ohm and we will measure the current through 470 ohms. It can be done by connecting an ammeter in series to 470 ohms. The positive terminal of the ammeter is connected to positive terminal of the voltage source and the negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to 470 ohms. In the second step, we will connect 1 kilo ohm resistor in series to 100 ohm resistor and again we will measure the current through 470 ohms. This can be done by connecting an ammeter in series to 470 ohms. The positive terminal of the ammeter is connected to positive terminal of the source and the negative terminal to 470 ohms. If we assume the current which we have evaluated in the first step as I dash and the current which we have evaluated in the second step as I double dash, the difference between these two currents is nothing but the change in current. And we got this current as 7.6 milliamperes. In order to obtain this change in current, what we actually do is, we will connect a compensating voltage source in series to 1 kilo ohm resistor and replace the original source with a short circuit. After replacing this with a short circuit, we will find the current flowing through 470 ohms. The positive terminal of the ammeter is connected to 470 ohms and the negative terminal is connected to ground. Now, how to find the compensating voltage? If we assume in the first circuit the current through 100 ohm as I which is 15.5 milliamperes and we know that the change in resistance is 1000 ohms, the product of I into delta R gives us the compensating voltage. Now let us see how to verify compensation theorem practically. Here if you observe we are setting a voltage of 10 volts with the help of knob provided on the semiconductor trainer kit and also the multimeter. After setting a voltage of 10 volts, now we need to uh, find the current through 470 ohms without connecting any resistor in series to 100 ohms. This current is I dash. Let us find what is this value. So we are measuring this value to be 7.65 milliamperes. And after this, again we will connect the source as it is. And in series to 100 ohm, I need to connect a 1000 ohms resistor or 1 kilo ohm resistor in series. And in the second step, I am finding again the current through 470 using the multimeter. And we got this current as 10.1 milliamperes. So the difference between these two currents is 7.5 milliamperes. Now let us see how can find I which is 15.7 milliamperes. I need to multiply this I with the delta R in order to obtain compensating voltage. I have already set the compensating voltage. By connecting the compensating voltage in series to this 1 kilo ohm resistor and I will measure again the current through 470 ohm. The positive terminal is connected to 470 and the negative terminal is connected to ground. And if you see the reading of the multimeter, we got the current as 7.5 milliamperes, which is the change in current. In this way, we can verify the compensation theorem. 